are developing a kit which can sense different kinds of electronic devices. So we are somehow making a user a very user friendly device which can automatically detect what kind of device it is and the testing will be started. There are two types of testing which we are doing in our project. The one is closed loop and one is open loop. In closed loop we have a reference sensor for testing the values. While in the open loop, the sensor just tests the values and we verify them with the human intervention. Polycarbonate is flexible, okay, but acrylic, acrylic it is not. So we we had uh, made the entire body using a single sheet acrylic. Using heat we had bent it. For that we can't do it individually. We need the help of laser cutting. We need to talk to people. Okay. So for that also we need to keep two days buffer. Taki, you explain them the project. If the sensor has started testing and it is under progress and some uh, how user press the restart button or the cancel button. So what happens in the version 1 was the loop was internally going off and the sensor keeps on testing internally but the user on the display will uh, can select some other sensors and start other processes. So it was a loop and uh, it was hanging up the system. We just introduced some new variables in the system, some loops and then we figure out when we have to cut out and we uh, applied some break statements there to come out of the loop. We have to study about the instruction pointer that exists in the microcontroller so we can decide where we have to jump. While making the magnetic bus, this is the hardware part, we had uh, used spring pins or pogo pins. Okay? And to use these pogo pins, there is a spring inside them. You have to study the spring constant of this pogo pins. So we have used magnets that the automatic the component which we are testing goes and automatically sticks on it. If the magnetic strength is more, then the frictional part which is there, no, it will overcome. So it will get stuck in a wrong place. And if the magnetic strength is too less, the, it won't stick properly. There will be a tilt in the connection. It is like a trial and error method where you uh, read the magnet's value and then you integrate it. It consists of almost 5,000 of lines, so it was very difficult to find um, bugs and places where I have left and I have to keep on jumping from one line to another and it's like thousands of lines in between them. So now we have divided the code in the library, so we don't have to jump here or there. For a particular sensor, we have a particular library and we have to just go inside that and have to check the code and then come, we can come back directly. There we had learned that how do we include most of the people as users for the devices which we are creating. Okay, this was basically the kickstart for our project. And in our particular case, the GUI has a tutorial page. So if I if there is a new user, if I if I hand him the device, he can just touch different regions and the device will respond to his touches and it, he will automatically get trained. So you don't need someone else to train the blind person or the person with disability. So he can just touch different regions, he can place the device and maybe within 10 minutes he will have the strength to test the device automatically on his own. In college, okay, we will have our syllabus and then we will study them and then we will do our test. Okay? We lack that purpose. Give the problem to the students, give them the uh, syllabus to study. They will study because they have a problem to solve. You just don't give them the uh, syllabus to study just for the exam Okay, So this approach I really like. What I had uh, learned in the EYRC competition, uh, I, it would have taken me around three years, but I had learned that in a span of six months. In the competition itself, I had learned so much. So this thought is there in my mind, ki, if I go for an offline internship in the campus, then how much of learning can happen with like-minded people?
there are enough resources if you go wrong you learn stuff taki you again correct yourself you got in other places it is just on the book you will know ki you should do it in such a way but i feel that learning happens on hands on experience and even if you go wrong you, you are encouraged to learn what we are doing here is off the track it is not a smooth steady line usually what we do in study in our colleges it is the exam it's a smooth path but i think we need to take few risks risks it's like an adventure itself why do we climb the mountain i mean you go you go up a mountain and then you basically come back next displacement is zero but then the thrill you get by taking such a risk that you can do it here because the tasks which we are given forward here are actually they trigger your mind into putting pressure okay so now uh, a hill climbing will put strain to your legs here they put strain to your mind both both are strains but the thrill you experience that is personal that you need to feel it by yourself that you can experience if you come here